Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. We're joined now by our panel of experts. Let me turn first to your reaction, David, uh, to uh, the president's uh, speech. Well, look, uh, he, was, he was pure Ahmadinejad and pure Iran, there's no question about it. But he was talking not to the people there. He was talking to the Middle East, to the broad Muslim world. And that's who he addressed. And he addressed it pretty loudly. Now, the, uh, you know, the reaction in the room, the reaction in the room of the, the empty chairs, that was, that was critical. Those empty chairs, uh, Walter, the significance, I mean, it looked to me as I looked at it, more than half of those chairs empty. We finally got the United Nations uh, to uh, put that uh, picture up. That, we want to reiterate, that camera was controlled by the United Nations, uh, and that's important to take note of. I don't think I've ever seen such a dramatic repudiation by the United Nations of a world leader. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a walkout of this magnitude. It was extraordinary. And it especially came when he went from being anti-Israel to being an open, avowed, and flagrant anti-Semite and talking about how a small minority of people through their devious machinations is a speech Adolf Hitler could have given. And thank God the, the place United was empty. Na and the United Nations uh, gave uh, Ahmadinejad that platform. They handed him a, a global megaphone. Uh, unfortunately, CNN and broadcasting it with only 30 seconds to go of commentary is going to leave people with that message unless we have another opportunity to, to comment well, on it. Well, we would it. like all of you to come back tomorrow evening so that you can do, this, uh, do that on this broadcast. Uh, Claudia, you get the final thoughts here. Final thought is it is vital that people in the Middle East know that that chamber was empty. This was a hollow speech in an empty chamber by a man who shouldn't be speaking there at all. Folks, thank you very much, and I appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow night.